Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today is the day Belle is getting her butt lift. <laughs> An unfortunate early butt lift in her life, thanks to me, but we're gonna make her right and the wife's gonna be happy. And um, yeah, I'm sort of excited to get this done. They received the tailgate and the bumper over a week ago, got it all painted, so it should be a pretty quick process. So I'm gonna drop the truck off, Belle, I'm in Belle right now and we're gonna probably have her done by the end of the day and then we're gonna bring it back to the wife and hopefully she approves all right guys we're out of case collision and bell's gonna get her butt lift it's gonna be all fixed up no more boo-boos Bruce is excited to see me. Today's the day, buddy. Welcome back. Yeah, welcome back. How was your vacation? It was all right. Where'd you go? Sedona, Arizona. Nice, nice. So nice and warm. Uh, it was it was comfortable. We were in the mountains. You now we spent a day in Scottsdale before we flew out. It was 200. <laughs> so cool. Um, so. Bell's here for you. We're gonna make the make the wifey happy. You getting all fixed up today? I hope so, Smitty, because guess what happened today? My help called all sick. No! So I'm here by myself. I was just telling him, see, I bailed him out yesterday on one. Big time bailed him out. Well, this is pretty simple. Everything's already painted, right? I know, it's, just a, it's okay. just a matter of- It's just bolting it on. Having, well, that's it, but I'm bolting it on so I don't hit anything. Well, yeah, don't hit anything. Right. Steve's not here? No, he's, on, he's turkey hunting. Ah, <sighs> see? He's the one that told me to bring it today, so you know. No, I did. Oh, you did? Okay. okay. So I was supposed to have John to help me. There's your tailgate painted. Your oh, yeah. Let's there. go check it out, guys. So, originally, guys, we uh, I initially planned not to put the M ones back on here, but when they got the tailgate in, they, you know, unfortunately have holes everywhere, so you can properly line up RAM across the whole tailgate here. So, yeah, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to you know, go badgeless on this. Did you get the Rebel Emblem too, or no? Told me not to. Yeah, good, that's fine, yeah. Told me all This is plenty, this the huge, all was that. <laughs> yes, this huge Ram Emblem is plenty. I don't even want that, but unfortunately, we're pretty much, I mean, you can actually make out Ram almost on that. And where's the bump, bumper? Bumper sitting over here. Did you have to paint that too, or did that come? No, it comes textured paint. Oh, okay. So, okay. Should I just clock out and work here today with you? If you turn that camera off. Yeah. <laughs> cool. So it's here. New pads in the box. Yeah. It's not much metal to these bumpers, guys. I mean, this is all plastic here. This is a little bit of metal. Yep, that's it. Not much to it. That's probably why it was so cheap. Probably why it fit. All right. I got to get back to work, guys. We'll see you in a few. And just like that, guys. I'm finished work, we're back out of case collision, and Belle's got a new rear. She's been uplifted. I don't know, uplifted, fixed, better. She got a booty. It's a pre-accident condition. Yeah, pre-accident, pre-smitty condition. Looks good. Um, we only need to get one little part left, right? Uh, was it this side? side? Yeah, right here. So this little valance, or I don't know what you want to call it. Oh, valance. See, I got it, guys. We're going to replace that, come back to replace that. And uh, where's the old tailgate? Because I want to use that on my, you know, I want to hang it up in my office. Uh, you know, yeah, it's a trophy. It's not a trophy anymore. It's a trophy with holes. What? Yeah. Cap closed. There's only one way to get it back open, and that is to cut a hole. Oh, man. Free plug the wires in, and then it would open up. <laughs> and the reason being, guys, is... Um, I have the tonneau cover, so he had it disconnected. He disconnected. There's a back panel here. I'll lift it up a little bit. There's a back panel here that comes off, and he had taken that off, and he disconnected the harness because this truck does have an electronic latching system. Unbeknownst to me, I didn't even realize it. I mean, how stupid am I? You're not pulling a lever, you're hitting a button. Should have registered in my head, but I didn't even know that either. So he disconnected that, and then he closed the tailgate with the tonneau cover down, and well. Because the reason I closed <laughs> the tailgate was the fact that the bumper was was damaged in, and I could not get to the wires for the tailgate. 
There you have it. So it was a series of quick mistakes. One. I mean, that's you know. But not fixed, not worried. Yeah. But if uh we still could use it as a trophy, but I, I, I mean, I was only joking. I don't really, I mean, maybe if we cut it out, like right here, but then, yeah, I got that. Yeah. Eh. You can cut your ram off. I don't know. I think it just might add insult to injury with the wife, and I think she uh, she would see that and have a reminder and bust my chops religiously every Probably. time she saw it. So. There's your other parts. Oh, yeah, there's the, the jacked up bumper you guys saw earlier. So, all right. Well, thanks, Bruce. Appreciate it. You're welcome. Great work as always. Yes. Bell looks good. Wife is going to be happy. Happy wife, happy life. Did you hear that, guys? Happy wife, happy life. That's for sure. And I could stop hearing it. Her truck's all fixed. One quick pit stop before I went home to the wife. We're at Chester County Transmission CCT. We are delivering some Ram Beast merch for Mitch, who did his gear swap here, his 410 gear swap. We were here uh, in the last video, you know, going over that and a couple other jobs that Andy had in the shop. Little jobs, he calls it. And, uh, and I wanted to hook Mitch up. From, and I want to hook Mitch up from coming all the way here from New York to have CCT do their job, the gear swap. Remember that white Ram right there? That's where the ATS transmission 68 RFE runs. Looks like she's back up and running, back on the road. Yo! Yo, what's going on? I had to drop all some goodies for Mitch, well, who traveled suggested. all the way from New York to get there his gear is. swap done by you guys. And so this is actually a neat thing that hey Mitch showed us. Or, you know, this is not something I'm familiar with or I've ever used before. So this is a tool that allows us to recalibrate the computer for the new, bigger tires and gears. So this will be a first go around. I mean, I was just reading about it. Everything looks pretty straightforward. Uh, you know, we just have some switches here that, you know, dip switches that are for whatever calibration you need. And you plug it in, turn the key on. It's supposed to go honk honk and it's done. If it goes oink oink though, we're going to have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> no, so we're he, hoping on a honk. He doesn't have any other tuning in his truck, right? I don't think so. So he's stock stock. Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. It's supposed to be just okay. stock. So yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah, yep. See? Honk honk. <laughs> all right so, yeah, we'll see how that goes yeah. we'll see how that goes i yep. did hear stuff about this pro cal before yeah um i don't know if you have to flash the ecu after it's done for... it, according to this no everything okay. i read it says no this is completely right. plug and play this will be synced once this is plugged into the vehicle it will be synced to the module of the truck so it can't be used in multiple applications yep. which i'm disappointed about because i figured be, if i could buy something like this and then every truck that comes through we could just reprogram that'd be fantastic but um yeah we're gonna give it a shot and we'll see how it goes cool so yeah awesome. we're gonna be driving here pretty soon sweet As a matter of fact i mean pete probably might be backing out of the building right now sweet yes. and then i saw you got the the white ram over there the one good thing that's worth knowing about the ats transmission when it comes so we saw it just in the box in the wrapping when we unwrapped it what we found is that there was no cooling line fittings included so you're going to need to get those um you're going to need the shift lever because it there's just a stub sticking out the side of the transmission so you're gonna need the shift lever and then also the shift cable retaining bracket, which you, you would probably have in a normal swap when you're swapping one out, you can swap those parts over. Um, we sent that transmission, the original one back to them. We were under the impression from them that they were gonna be fixing that transmission and sending it back. It's pretty apparent at this point that we got a different transmission. So those parts I don't have anymore. So they're coming from the dealer. I'll have them tomorrow morning. Okay, so that truck isn't rolling. <laughs> we drove it. I mean, so what we did was we got underneath and shifted it, you know, manually moved it in and out of gear. Don't tell OSHA that we did that. Though. Okay. <laughs> um, so that's why it's outside. So we did start it. We did the quick learn. Quick learn went fine. Um, we're just waiting for those parts for tomorrow morning. So. And how about the 05? The one with the crazy uh, destroyed diff housing. Um, the 05 yeah. Ram. Well, uh, I talked to the customer about it in case he wanted to come down and, and you know, take a look at it. He just wants his truck back on the road. So mm. we're going to be in? putting a used one in. Um, okay. And it's probably worth um, taking a look at the used one. And that's why I called the customer. If you guys want to come, let's, let's go take a look at it. Oh, yeah. That's the used one. She's a beaut. <laughs> and this is the one that came out of the vehicle. I mean, you, when you look at it as a whole, this is a much more attractive anyway axle versus this one. Yeah. But 
Yeah. Wow, and that's what he's gonna throw in there. Yeah, that's what we're gonna be putting in there. Okay. So, I mean, it's tough, you know, everybody everybody has their budgets, you know, again, we're not, um, we'll do whatever we need to do here. It's, you know, obviously, if you, you'd like to be making everything, you know, 110%, 110% of the time, but, you know, that you don't always have that liberty uh, to do so. But, in the end, you know, this is supposed to be good, good used differential. Keep in mind, this is a used component too, and I don't want to get too carried away. Um, just because it looks bad on the surface doesn't mean it's a bad component. It's just, as some of you guys know, you know, we want want things to look good if we can, and um, it's just not an attractive. But that's this is common. This is what you see when you get a used part. This is typically what you're dealing with. No, and, you and, and actually, what might be good to point out at this point is that if you get something used and it's painted or looks not anything like this you, that's actually reason to be like extra concerned because as far as i'm concerned that means somebody's trying to hide something they painted it because there was something funky with it or they went out of their way to power wash it because maybe it had all kind of grease and stuff over, all over it the point is something's trying to be hidden you know so in some in certain to, to a certain degree it's good that it looks like it does because it at least uh validates its uh, heritage now, are you going to break this thing open at all before you put yes. it back in there? Just yeah, yeah, it? yeah. This this cover is going to come off. Okay. We'll take the cover off um, before we install it. I mean, if there's some bad stuff that comes rolling out of there, obviously we'll get in contact with the customer. That's the customer's old cover right there. We'll reuse that that one. You know, the the not barnacled one. Um, and then also, you know, we're going to do our best to try to uh, replace these backing plates. You know, the nuts are. Hard to tell where they start and the other parts begin, but we're gonna try to swap these I'm on the there. They look better, better than the ones here. You know. So, right. But but again, it's like everybody says, well, just get a used part and slap it in. So what what kind of slap it in do you want me to do exactly? Really, do you want me? I could just put this in. It's going to be hours worth of work though, getting some of these components off of this unit onto this one, and that doesn't happen for free. So right. it's another well, part that customers. What you need kinda... to what you need to do is get a sandblaster, sandblast this, paint it, you know, make it that's look pretty. Actually, uh, that's the future business model. Okay, yep. all Re right. Refurbing used parts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, Pete. What's going on? What's going on? I had to stop in real quick. Oh, I appreciate it. Real quick that. before I go home with the Weiss fixed ram. All right. Oh, what a view. Yep. What a view. Her rear end got an uplift. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sure she appreciates it. Well, we'll see. Yes. I Maybe didn't. Steve I didn't. Will. I didn't make it home yet. So. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. You never know. Are you ready? I just want to thank Mitch again for supporting the shops that support me, and you know, bringing you guys this awesome content. Yeah. Absolutely. So. Yeah, thanks, Mitch. It. Appreciate it. Good stuff. Andy appreciates it. Yeah. I appreciate it. Yep. Got Absolutely. some good stuff for you there. No, it's been a good time. This project's been really fun with Mitch. I mean, him and I have gone back and forth the whole time. I've sent him tons of pictures about, you know, I've sent him a couple videos, like the for the bypass, the, the um, transmission bypass Saw valve. that, yeah. I sent him a video of that, which he really liked, you know, so it's been, a, it's been a good time, Mitch. Thanks. If you guys aren't following me yet, make sure you're following me on Instagram. I'm always posting story feeds and you get a little insight of what the week's video is going to be. So make sure you're checking me out on Instagram and Facebook. Make sure you're checking out CCT yes, on Facebook. Yes, yes. They're in all the video descriptions. They're on my website. Make sure you're getting your Amsoil from Bee Synthetics. Oh, I'm going to plug myself. Yep. And checking out rambeastprojects.com. All right, Andy. Thanks a lot, buddy. All right, guys. It's all to home to see the missus. Hopefully I don't back in anyone leaving this parking lot. Traffic's kind of crazy here. Wish me luck. Home, and I didn't back in the Gaston. <laughs> Let's go get the wife. Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you ready to see the butt lift? I'm ready, ready to see my, my Kardashian. Oh, would you look at her? Just look at her. Oh, she's pretty again. Are you happy she's all fixed up? I am. Very nice. I try to keep the other tailgate as a souvenir to hang on my wall, but <laughs> he uh, he just connected. This is actually electronic. There's, it's not it's not a normal latching system like the Beast like how you have in the older place. trucks. Yeah, it's an electronic um, latch. Huh? So um, he disconnected this and then he shut it this was down and he couldn't get in there so he actually had to drill well not drill but cut a hole into the old tailgate to reconnect it to release this 
<laughs> Murphy's Law, man. Yeah, yeah. So we can't keep it as a souvenir, but you're probably happy with that. Yeah, it's, I said it might just add insult to injury. Every time you saw it, you would just uh, you would probably bust my chops. So. Or I'd just get mad at you, or you'd yell at me for something, and I would just point to it. Yep. Ah, oh, very nice. Okay, I like it. Happy. I am. You're back in business. I'm back in business. Back in business. No yeah. more busting my chops anymore. Well, I don't know about that. Oh, jeez. Let me grab a box. I want to show these guys something real quick. Okay. All right, guys. For Bell, we have a CTS2 monitor from Edge Products. Our friends over at Edge Products, they saw our Pulsar video, and they sent us this nice monitor so we can monitor all of our gauges. This will come in handy when we put this truck back on the dyno for some more pulls for the SMB cold air induction that we installed. So, And you can clear codes if you get codes or anything like that, but it's, uh, it's a great tool. I had this on the beast before I switched over to the easy link because I didn't need this anymore with the easy link but but we're gonna use this on Bell and we'll do a video on that of course all right guys I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up if you're stopping by for the first time make sure you tap smash do something to that subscribe button hit that little notification bell ding ding, ding. ding. <laughs> we love you guys we appreciate you watching all yes. the videos we appreciate your support we appreciate you purchasing your AMS oil from us go into Rambies projects always go to rambiesprojects.com there is a RBP and partners link on there. You might want to check that out. There's some cool discount codes for the companies that support us. So check that out. We love you. I said that already. We'll see you on the next one. Yes. Yeah.